Um, Mike, looking back, I suppose, over the last season, uh, turning, to, I suppose, uh, casting an eye towards home, if you will, uh, it's been a phenomenal year for Irish rugby. Uh, you know, the Grand Slam, Six Nations title, uh, Leinster winning European and Pro 14 honours. Uh, we saw Munster getting close at the business end, but, you know, just coming up that little bit short, but still plenty of positives from there. Uh, there'll be a new guy in at Ulster and at Connacht next year. Um, you know, but I suppose capped all all of that capped off really with the with the Test series win in Australia. And I think more impressive was the fact that they 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 went one down and they went back to back back to back at the end of an absolutely energy sapping season that you know saw them perform under pressure in in big games, be it in Paris, be it in in, in mm-hmm. you know when they had to beat England. Uh, mentally, that must have been a huge, huge uh, uh, drain and a huge uh, performance to pull out of the bag for the Irish side. And I, I suppose just looking, I think Tyke Byrne uh, tweeted there a 50-week season that he played over 30, mm-hmm. 36 games, I think. Uh, these guys really, really deserve a break. Yeah, they do. They showed incredible, like just, I just thought they showed incredible character in the in the last 10 or 15 minutes, you know, and we all know how... I suppose when you look at Australia, the strength they they have is is their attack, you know, and they they're able to put good multi phase uh, attack together, and even towards the the end of the game, they were still doing that. But but Ireland's defence just stood strong, and you know the one thing is you can see that they all trust each other, um, and they're all just really really clear on their roles, whether it be on on both sides of the ball on attack or defence. Um, look, it was a huge huge year, um, you know the clean sweep bought it, bought it at the international level and then you look at Leinster as well and Munster finished quite strong so rugby's really really on a high in Ireland at the, at the moment and you know it pushes the bar I think the big thing going into next year is um, you've the World Cup the following year and every player that plays in Ireland and this is one thing that I do believe every player that plays in the province you know especially guys that are starting or, or in the 23 they all feel they have a good chance um, of playing with Ireland you know so that just creates huge depth for every position, you know. And you, you even look. I saw I saw something today that or I was reading there earlier on that, you know, you you Leinster have gone back in some preseason. You've know, Sean O'Brien, um, Josh van der Fleer, and uh, and Reese Ruddock. You know, they're three players. If they were to start in the Six Nations, I don't think many people would would question it either. You know, and they're three players that weren't even on the tour, um, and and you have other players in other positions. So. I think the depth is just is phenomenally is phenomenally um it's phenomenally good. But I just think it's just gonna push standards and it's it's you know and to get a win like they did down there, I just think it'll it'll galvanize, you know, it just even brings them closer as if they're not close enough. And it shows that they're just they're ruthless in, in what they do, you know, in a real positive manner. Um and a lot of that has to come from obviously the players, but they have an incredibly good coaching staff that you know, that they're able to get their word across and it just seems to be going in. They're very clear on their game plan. Um, so, yeah, and then, and also then you look at the provinces as well. And as you said, I think it could be, uh, you know, that that's going to benefit the provinces and it already did benefit Leinster this year, you know. So, rugby's on a real, real high. Um, I noticed actually when I go home and I do get home, I think looking back a couple of years ago, it was kind of dropped off a small bit and, now it's just it's it's back up where it was maybe you know seven eight nine years ago, um and it's it's great to see it's great to see yeah Mike I suppose just one one concern that you might have uh with regards to the to the depth uh, of of the Irish panel heading into twenty nineteen would be at the, at halfbacks uh, in that you know we have two world class halfbacks in Sexton mm-hmm. and Murray. I'm not saying that the guys, you know, Ross Byrne had a great season for Leinster and he's going to come on next year. Carberry is going to move down to Munster where he's going to get plenty of games. That should bring him on. But I suppose the gap between the, the, the nines, uh, between Murray and the replacement nines, is that bit bigger than the gap between Sexton and the replacement tens. And that's something that will that will be important next year, that the, the guys who are, I suppose, the likes of the Kieran Marmions, uh, uh, you know, are putting their hands up and are really, really having good seasons heading into 2019. Yeah, it's probably the one concern I would say. I, I, I would agree, just especially at nine. Um, you know, Carberry did get his 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 chance, albeit one game. Um, he played a bit during the season, obviously as well, a couple of games, and he was, he's coming off the bench and doing really, really well. Um, you know, he come to Munster, you have to fight for that position, obviously as well. There's there's four players that are already there, 
So again, straight away, I was talking about raising the bar. That's going to raise the bar straight away there. Um, you know, but I suppose nine was the area that I'd look at. And, you know, we're, we're very reliant on, on Connor. Connor's a world-class player, absolutely. But you could even see it in the last couple of minutes of the game. He did look obviously tired after after such a, a long game but, or a long season. But it would have been just... It would have been good, in my own opinion, to see someone like uh, Marmion or, or John Cooney, I'd be a fan of John Cooney, to get in there and just see in that, that pressure cooker environment how, how they how they cope because it's like anything, you get one injury and, God forbid, if it did happen, you need... And I think we're well stocked, in, as I said, in, in other positions. I mean, I still think we're quite stocked in, in nine as well. Um, but just to get that exposure more so in those pressure uh, pressure games, it would be... It would have been nice to see one of them. Obviously, Kieran Marmion was, was on the bench the weekend, but um, I know John Cooney came on, albeit it was only three or four minutes. I'd just like to see him getting a, getting a bit more game time, one, whichever one he decided to go for, you know, whichever one Joe decided to go for. So, um, But look, it's, it's easy to say that when you're, when you're sitting back from it, when you're, the, when you're the head coach and, you know, Connor's playing the way he is and, it's such a big thing that you've the third game, you win it, and it's third game, it's one all. At third game, you win it. Game is very close, you know. As I say, it's easy for us to say it's standing back, back from it. Um, but it's just a pity that that opportunity didn't arise, you know. But look, hopefully in November, I think it's probably one area that he will look at it. It yeah. is at nine. To... I, I think the November Test series is uh, Argentina, Italy, New Zealand, and USA. So I'd imagine that there'll be plenty of opportunity. To, to 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 blood guys in that in that yeah I, I i agree i agree to point but i just think in a pressure cooker environment like there was in um in in australia i think it would have been a good opportunity for one of them to to potentially start or or you know get 30 minutes under their belt or whatever you know because if the day does arise and hopefully you know you're not put into that scenario but if it does that just every every um every position is 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 checked off 